Hi, Dr. Arlen Albur here from Orthopedic and Balance Therapy. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top 10 most common questions for plantar fasciitis. All right, let's go through them one by one. First one is, what are the causes of plantar fasciitis? One of the most common causes is tightness in the calf, uh, wearing shoes with poor arch support, being overweight or obese, and if you work a job that involves being on your feet quite a bit, and it's most common in people over, over the age of 40, right around 40 to 70. Second question is, what can you do for plantar fasciitis? If, let's say, you've been diagnosed with plantar fasciitis, here are a few things you can do on your own. Uh, give your foot a rest. You know, take a break. Let's say you're a runner. Take a break from running. Um, try to get, get off your feet as much as you can initially. Ice the heel, the bottom of the heel. Do toe and calf stretches, and I'll show you a couple of stretches later in this video. And get a new pair of shoes, if, especially if your existing pair of shoes have now um, are now uh, worn out and are not offering you the good art support that you need. Number three, how do I prevent plantar fasciitis? Again, wear shoes with good art support, stretch your calf regularly, stay at a healthy weight, and try not to we uh, walk barefoot. And number four, how long does it take to heal from plantar fasciitis? Generally, you can expect to heal or get better with treatment in about two to three weeks. Although in certain cases, sometimes it may get, take as long as six weeks as this is the amount of time it takes for soft tissues to heal. Number five, what part of the foot does plantar fasciitis affect? Now, pain is usually worse at the bottom of the heel towards the inside arch of your foot. Although in severe cases and worse cases, pain can go all the way into the arch and sometimes into the ball of the foot. Number six, why does my plantar fasciitis hurt in the morning? Now, the tendency of our muscles in our calf and our toes, and including the plantar fascia itself in the bottom of the foot, they tend to tighten up overnight. Now, the first few steps in the morning will tend to overstretch these tight tissues, and if the plantar fascia is inflamed, it will tug on its origin from the bottom of the heel, causing that instant severe pain in the bottom of your heel when you, you take the first few steps in the morning. Number seven, how can I treat plantar fasciitis at home? You can use a golf ball and uh, roll that golf fall, ball with your foot and massage the bottom of your foot that way. You can also use ice packs and again, do uh, stretching. So what exercise can you do for plantar fasciitis? It's number eight, uh, you can do toe stretches and calf stretches and I'll show you a couple. So for a toe stretch, uh, you can do it this way, cross the um, involved foot um, leg over the opposite knee, and then make sure that when you stretch it, you pull on your big toe and the toes, you pull back, you pull your foot back towards your shin, making sure that you're pulling the toes back with it. Another way to do that is using a belt or a band in this um, picture. Again, make sure that you're pulling on the toes back to involve your plantar fascia. And to stretch the calf, um, this is uh, familiar with most people. Uh, we're stretching the left calf, make sure that the back knee is straight, the back foot is pointed straight ahead, and the heel is down on the floor. Number nine, how does physical therapy help with plantar fasciitis? Typically when we're dealing with someone with plantar fasciitis, we use hands-on, manual hands-on style physical therapy where we directly use our hands to try to soften up your plantar fascia, soften up your calf muscles and all the tissues around the ankles, including maybe even mobilizing the ankle joints if they have stiffened up. And lately, we've also been using Graston technique. It uses stainless steel tools to really get deep into your plantar fascia and try to loosen it up. After that, we perform stretching, specific stretching to your calf muscles and your plantar fascia, and then strengthening because the tendency is the muscles in your leg and even in your hip and your butt will tend to weaken if you've been walking, you know, wrong for a while where you're not bearing weight in a normal fashion because you're favoring one side and the tendency is your muscles on that side will tend to weaken and that's why we need to strengthen them. In the past two years, we've also started using laser therapy has been very powerful for our patients with plantar fasciitis. Finally, number 10, can laser therapy help plantar fasciitis? Yes, it uses the non-invasive power of light. It penetrates deeply into the tissues and helps relieve the inflammation and pain and facilitates healing. So that's our video for now. In the next video, we're going to discuss what you can do about Achilles 
tendonitis. I'll see you then.